uh, which is a culmination of nine years of work. And I just think if you look at that stuff and you say, all right, not who do you want to have run a good commercial, not who can get good talking points from their consultant, but who do you want to have actually trying to fix the country and actually trying to get us back on a constitutional track of limited government, recognizing that our rights come from our creator and that religious liberty is at the heart of the American system and that free enterprise is the engine that creates jobs. I think I am the one candidate in this race who has a consistent background of actually changing Washington, not just going along with it. I want to say one last thing about the difference in this campaign. I was at Huntsville yesterday. I gave a speech on the Space Coast, which I talked about a little bit at Huntsville, which seemed to be a pretty appropriate place to talk about space. I was really surprised to have both Romney and Santorum ridicule and attack my speech. Because, you know, Romney said that he would have fired somebody who came in with ideas like those. Now, and I understand he likes to fire people, but I still think it was a little bit much. And I thought to myself, would he have fired Christopher Columbus? Would he have fired John F. Kennedy? Would he have fired the Wright brothers? Would he have fired Thomas Edison? You imagine, Edison walks in and says, I think I can invent the electric light. Gone. <laughs> I want to be straightforward. I am a visionary. I am in the Reagan tradition. I think without, I believe Proverbs is right. Without vision, the people perish. Being a manager of the decay is not good enough. You have to have a vision of getting back to a growth-oriented, opportunity-oriented, achievement-oriented society. That requires leadership. Now, on Sunday, and the reason I bring this up is on Sunday, Romney sounded a little bit like Obama. He came in and he said, Ging Gingrich has this $2.50 a gallon thing. He said, that's pandering. No, Governor, that's leadership. You move a nation by offering people a vision of a dramatically better future towards which they can work and towards which they can study, and it takes that kind of leadership to get America back on the right track, and that is why I am running for president.